Say, Rig, what's a four-letter word for a piece of information that can help you solve a riddle? Haven't got a clue. Sorry. Shucks. Hey, Widget, do you know why everything looks so black and white? Oh, hi! It's great to see you. You can see all the black and white, too, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah! Oh, good. Glad it's not just me. I'm a detective, Miss Tina. I see everything in black and white. That's the job. Oh, cool! Can we help? Uh, sure, but I don't have any cases at the moment. Detective Widget, you have to help me! So, you need the detective's help, do you? What seems to be the problem? Wait, when did you change? Are you gonna stand there gaping like a goldfish out of its bowl, or are you gonna give this poor bot some help? Uh, yeah, uh, okay. What happened, Giz? One of Gears' Protonatron action figures is missing! <gasps> Which one? I do not know. They all look the same. Now listen here, Gizmo, and listen good. Each one is slightly different and extremely valuable in its own special way. Now which one was it? Okay, okay, he, he might have said something about it being an exclusive from a Protonicon in Malta? The Maltese Protonatron? <gasps> Not the Maltese Protonatron. It's the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, all that and a bag of chips. What? It's their favorite one. Widget, we've got to find that figure. There's just one thing I don't understand. Why are you here, Gizmo? Sounds like you don't know anything about the Maltese Protonatron. Because Gears thinks I stole it. Rig, clear my schedule. We've got ourselves a case. Hot dog! So, what's your story, kid? What's the scoop? What's the skinny? Skinny? Well, thanks. I have been working out with Rig. Just tell us what happened. Oh, right. It all started this morning. Gears was working on setting up his new Protonatron display shelf. He had been talking about it for weeks. Since I have never been a huge supporter of his Protonatron habit, I thought it would be a nice surprise if I finished it for him. Just as I was finishing up, Gears returned. Gizmo? Did you build my new shelf for me? <laughs> I hope you like it. I love... Wait. <gasps> Where is it? Where is what? My molten metal Protonatron from Protonicon Malta. It's missing! Uh, I am not sure where it is. <gasps> You took it! Why would you do that? I did not take it. I just put the shelf together. You stole it! My favorite one! Gears, I'm your friend. I promise I did not... Just leave me alone. I just do not understand. I placed every Protonatron toy that was in the room. I, I do not know how one could be missing. Don't worry, Gizmo. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, thank you, Detective Widget. I do not want my friend to be angry with me. Detective Widget, I have the next witness outside. Great. Bring him in. What is this? Limited edition Protonatron with grappling hook action. You can't tell? Sure, but what's it doing in my office? It would have been there at the time of the incident. Don't you want to question it? Rick, it's an action figure. It can't talk. Actually, this one says five unique phrases when you press the emblem. Look out! Electric cores behind you! This is not helpful. But he just gave you a name! Rig! So you don't want to talk to these guys? <laughs> okay. I need to see the scene of the crime. 
Say, that's a mighty fine idea. Let's go. Ready, set, go! Gears, notorious Protonatron fanbot. His most prized possession was missing, and it was really frying his circuits. Detective Widget, I was just about to call you. My Maltese Protonatron figure is missing! We know. You do? Gizmo here hired Widget to find the action figure and clear his name. Clear his name? But he did it! I know he did! I'll be the judge of that. Now, why don't you tell us your side of the story? Don't leave anything out. Yeah, give it to us straight, on the level, honest to goodness. I was building my new display shelf for my Protonatron collection. It was coming along really nicely, so I decided to take a break and play with them for a bit. That's when you called, Miss Tina. Hello? Hey, Gears, could you do me a favor and run down to the botany division? Professor Fern is going on vacation and wants me to take care of this new special flower while she's away. I'm kind of in the middle of reorganizing my Protonatron collection. You of all people should know how important that is. Of course I do, but I'm running late today and she's got a plane to catch. It'll just take a few minutes. All right, I'll go. Thanks, Gears. And so I went. And when I got back, Gizmo was there. And my Maltese Protonatron was gone. Gizmo, what are you doing? Where's my molten metal Protonatron from Protonicon Molta? <laughs> Gizmo, no! That is not how it happened. I find it hard to believe that Gizmo laughed like that. Well, that's how I remember it. If I hadn't left my workshop, it wouldn't have happened at all. <gasps> You stole my Protonatron! What? Gizmo was in cahoots with you the whole time! You lured me away from my workshop so that Gizmo could steal it for you! Gears, don't be ridiculous. Stealing is wrong. And besides, I don't need your Maltese Protonatron. I already have a complete set. Miss Tina doesn't have a motive, Gears. And frankly, neither does Gizmo. Well, if Gizmo didn't take it, then who did? You never questioned me. Where were you the morning of today, when Gears went to the botany division? I was sitting at my desk waiting for clients. She was workers. Get up, Rig. You're no thief. Of course he's not. Gizmo is. <gasps> I am not! You stole it, Gizmo. And if you're not going to admit it, you're... You're... You're not my friend anymore! <gasps> you... you do not mean that. Yes, I do! A real friend wouldn't steal my favorite action figure, and a real friend definitely wouldn't lie about it. You're clearly not my friend. Gears, let's not be too hasty. Gizmo is one of your best friends. Say, how would you like to hear a Bible story about friendship? Do you want to hear it too? Yeah. Sure. yeah! Gee, that's swell. Let's go! Ready, set, go! Once, there were two best friends named David and Jonathan. David and Jonathan were inseparable pals. They were like peanut butter and jelly. Mmm, peanut butter and jelly. In fact, they even made a promise to always be best friends no matter what happened. Even if one of them stole the other stuff? Well, Gears, they actually had much bigger problems than that. Really? Jonathan was the son of King Saul, the king of Israel. So Jonathan was a prince? Yep, in line to become the next king himself. But God had chosen someone else to be the next king of Israel. Who? David, Jonathan's best friend. David was going to take the throne from Jonathan? Wow, some friend. Remember, Gears, David wasn't taking the throne, he was being given the throne by God. But didn't that make Jonathan mad? That's totally a friendship ending move. Nope, not at all. Jonathan trusted God and respected his choice to make David king. And Jonathan valued his friendship with David much more than the throne. So Jonathan just let David become king? Well, Jonathan's dad Saul was still on the throne, and he wasn't too happy about David taking it. At one point, he even tried to hurt David so that he couldn't become king. Oh, no! 
When David told Jonathan what happened, Jonathan didn't want to believe it. But Jonathan knew David wouldn't lie about that. So rather than lose the best friendships they ever had, David and Jonathan chose to trust each other. They renewed their pact to be best friends forever, and Jonathan helped David escape to safety. God used David and Jonathan's friendship to keep David safe until he could become king. And once he was, David took care of Jonathan's family. They truly were best friends forever. Widget, will you please pull up Proverbs 17, 17? The Bible says, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Ad what city? Adversity. It means they'll stick with you through thick and thin. And they stick with you because... A friend loves at all times? Yep, all times. Kind of like how God loves us all the time? Yeah, Rick. God's a really good friend, too. Basically the best. Friends, call on when you need someone. They'll come when... Trouble comes a palace that's a mom. One, two, three, four. Everybody needs a friendly hug. And how do you see? Pal, you bring so much joy into my life. Wow, shining like a full moon in the full moon. Friendship that is strong. Delight, fool, love your friend as if they were your very self. Always stop to give a helping hand when that's not the plan. One component of life so dear, so clear. God's the greatest of friends, He holds us near. Never is there any doubt about His love. Gizmo, you are my friend, and if you say you didn't take my action figure, I choose to trust you. I'm sorry I blamed you for stealing it. Will you forgive me? Of course, Gears. You are my friend, too. There's still something fishy about this case. I love fish. I mean, something's not right. If Gizmo didn't take it, where is the Maltese Protonatron? Perhaps I can be of assistance. <laughs> of course. The one day I leave my fedora at home. Professor Fern, aren't you supposed to be on a plane? I was on my way to the airport when I noticed a distinct monochromaticity spreading throughout the city. You mean it's black and white everywhere else, too? Yep. Where's the Gradiolus? Oh, yeah. I kind of broke it. Ah, uh, well, that explains it. The missing protonatron? No, the black and white. The gradiolus gives off an airborne anti-pigment that turns motionless things black and white. <gasps> oh. As for the missing protonatron, that's a lot simpler. <laughs> My baby! You had it with you when you came down to Botany and left it there when you took the gradiolus. Oh, no. Giz, I'm... Already forgiven, friend. 
Professor Fern, is there any way to get the color back? Oh, sure. The effect is only temporary. The color will be back faster than you can say, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Hey, Gizmo. What's happening here? Widget and I are about to watch the RoboCup Soccer Championships. Ah, uh, sports. I'm so glad you have someone to enjoy that with you. Me too. I cannot believe she and I have never watched a game together. I think we are about to become even better friends. Well, good luck with that. Gizmo? You root for the blue team? Of course I do. It is a well-known fact that blue team is the best. Wait. Why are you wearing orange? I'm an orange team fan. Orange team is the best. No, blue team. Orange team. Blue team. Orange. Blue. Orange. Purple. We're shouting our favorite colors, right? Miss Tina, please. This is very serious. I just learned Widget is an orange team fan. They are the blue team's bitter rivals. Gizmo and I might not be able to be friends anymore. Seriously? You two are going to end a friendship over a silly sports rivalry? Well, we certainly cannot watch the game together. We will talk far too much trash. Yeah, and how will we be able to do anything else after? These colors run deep, Miss Tina! Well, real friends are kind to each other, even when they have different opinions. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and here is why Big Daddy the Creator says to keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to all your friends and keep it kind. Be nice to your friends and here is why Big Daddy the the creator says to keep it kind. So I have to root for the orange team? Of course not. You can still root for your teams and even have a little rivalry, as long as it's friendly. Just remember to always keep it kind. Good luck today, Giz. I hope your team does well, but not too well. Aw, thanks, Widget. You too. Now, in all seriousness, is there a purple team I can root for? Ready, set, go! Yes, yes, this is it! I have done it! The world's greatest taco recipe ever! Complete and save. What? No, 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 no! Gizmo, what's wrong? My taco recipe, it is gone! Oh, uh, I'm just going to go. <laughs> Rick, wait. It would be nice to be with another taco enthusiast right now. You are probably the only person in all of Quantum Labs who really understands what I am going through right now. Are you sure? Miss Tina loves tacos, too. I suppose you are right. Here, let me go get her for you. Miss Tina! Miss Tina? Miss Tina! Miss Tina! Oh, sorry. I couldn't find Miss Tina. Do you want to talk about it with me? It was supposed to be the greatest taco recipe of all time. I am just so sad. Had I lost it. I bet it would have been delicious. I'm sorry, Gizmo. It would have been. Thanks, Rig. You really are a good friend. I am? Yes. Sitting here with me while I cry about tacos? Not everyone would do that. Some people might even try to avoid it. Really? <laughs> I guess it's important to love your friends, even when they're sad. I appreciate it. Any time. Um, Gizmo? Yes, Rig? Talking about tacos and seeing all the ingredients out is really making me want tacos. Maybe we can make a new recipe together. I would love that. Thanks, Rig. Ready, set, go! Well, 
Oh, Gizmo, a new record! Looks like you'll be a shoe in for the Robo Olympic team. Yeah. Good job, Gizmo. Your fifth win in a row. What a shock. Thank you, everyone. Shall we go again? Um, no thanks. I think I've had enough racing for one day. If you can even call it racing. Miss Tina, what happened? Why does everyone seem so upset? Well, you have been winning a lot of races lately. Is that bad? No, but they're probably a bit frustrated. <gasps> With me? Oh no! What should I do? Why don't you keep practicing? I'll go talk to them. Copy that, Coach Tina. There you are. Is this part of your new training regimen? Haven't you heard? Wallowing in self-pity is the hottest trend in fitness right now. Self-pity, huh? Gizmo wins every training race. Why bother trying? He's just gonna win the next one. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. So what? You guys just leave and come in here to mope? That's no way to handle a problem with your friend. Well, what are we supposed to do? Talk it out. That's gonna be the way. No scream or shout. I didn't get my way, but I'll listen instead of pout. Cause I really just want to work this out. Also, do e -blop. That's what I call the thing when we talk a lot. Rarely listening, so to avoid making eyes a pop. I'll be stopping all of my do e -blop. To that is a yes, la do dee, not a dewey flop. I'm happy to say we are all unique. That's what makes us us. Uh -huh. Gizmo is your friend. You should rejoice when he rejoices. If Gizmo does make it to the Robo Olympics, you would have a friend in the Robo Olympics. How cool would that be? That would be pretty cool. And Gears, you helped make Gizmo Super Boosters. It's technically their Super Hypothermal Blaster Boosters by Gears. So if he wins with those, isn't it like you won too? I never thought of it like that. And just because Gizmo may be the fastest, you all don't have to give up on training. They take more than one robot on the Robo Olympic team. That's true, they do. I guess you're right, Miss Tina. Talking it out does help. It does, but for best results, you should really talk it out with your friend. Sorry we weren't more supportive before, Gizmo. We really would be happy for you if you got on the Robo Olympic team. Thank you, but I want us all to make the team. That is why I kept suggesting we continue to practice. Really? Of course. Going to the Robo Olympics would not be as fun without my friends by my side. That was oh, Gizmo. Funny. Ready, set, go! What are you doing, Widget? I'm going to have a tea party at my treehouse tea house. Would you like to join me? There'll be tiny sandwiches and biscuit cookies. Oh, and tea, of course. Sandwiches? You mean those teeny tiny triangle sandwiches with cucumber slices on them? Yep. I love those. Thank you, Widget. I would love to come to your tea party. Yay! <laughs> uh, Widget, I don't think I'm going to fit in there. What? Of course you will. Come on in, Rick. Widget, I really can't fit. Can we have the tea party outside? But this is my treehouse tea house. The whole point is to have tea inside. This stinks. We've never had trouble fitting in the same places before. We usually go places that are rig sized, not widget sized. I guess I just never realized how different we were. Do you think we can still be friends even though we're so different? Of course, differences don't break friendships. They make friendships stronger. If you need to lift something really big and heavy, who do you ask for help? You. 
And if I want to make teeny tiny triangle cucumber sandwiches, who do I ask? Me. See? If we were exactly the same, we wouldn't be able to do those things together. But can we still have a tea party together? I have an idea. Best tea party ever. Definitely. Ready, set, go! Well, that was quite a day. It certainly was, Giz. Why, it was more intense than camping in a tent factory. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss dressing and talking like this once the color comes back. Do not worry, Miss Tina. I am sure Professor Fern will allow us to borrow the gradiolus again sometime. Oh, yes! For another mystery. <laughs> Man, that was so much fun! Yes, it was very fun to be accused of stealing my best friend's action figure. Oh, right! Sorry! At least you were able to patch things up. I really am glad. Me too. In fact, I believe our friendship is stronger than ever. We can remain really lovely friends Loving how we're all different In God's love Oh, 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 oh God's love Now it's your turn to go and be a good friend. We'll see you next time. Bye! Ready, set, go! Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy to understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.